What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. What I do here, if you are new to this channel, is I break down the occult sciences and I break them down to a very practical level so that you can use them and apply them in your day-to-day -day life and get real, actual results with the things that I'm speaking about simply by applying your observation and awareness, okay? Uh, without further ado, let me give you a little bit of a perspective of who you're getting this information from. My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am fully initiated in the entire Kabbalistic tree. I'm studying when it comes to the 22 major arcana of the tarot, and I'm also studying when it comes to planetary energies in direct relation to astrology, okay? This is very important information that you know who you're getting this information from. Okay, so without further ado, what is the topic of, of our today's video? The topic of our today's video is going to revolve around creation and destruction. What I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to speak a little bit on the Sephirothic tree of life, and then I'm going to be speaking a little bit on the Klebothic tree of death. Okay, I'm going to be breaking down the truth behind creation and destruction and as well as throwing in some deeper perspectives that you can have and take with you to be able to uh, view the importance of creative energies and destructive energies in relation to your own soul and your soul's self-development. Now, as I'm going to be giving you these explanations and as I'm going to be um, opening up your awareness within this video, I will also be pointing back once again to the Sephirothic tree of life and then I will be pointing back to the Klebothic tree of death. Okay, so if you want to understand a little bit more about the nature of your soul and why it's very important to understand creation and destruction to help develop your soul's potential, this is your video, so definitely make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so my goal for this video is to give you a very simple understanding of creation and destruction, okay? What I'm not going to do in this video is I am not going to, one, lie to you. I am not going to try to sugarcoat love and light and try to appease to your ego, whoever's listening to this right now or watching this, I'm not trying to appease to your ego. I'm going to tell you from the perspective of someone who is fully initiated through the entire Kabbalistic tree, which means the darker aspects as well, uh, I'm going to tell you the truth about creation and destruction. And I'm going to tell you the, uh, the process of how to develop your soul using creative and destructive energies. Okay, so once again, the, the goal is to give you a very simple understanding of how this functions and the reason why, you know, it's, you know, I can sit here and I can give you this very simple perspective and I can tell you these very profound truths and it's just so funny because what I'm sharing with you is very real. I mean, you know, the science behind this occult um, technology proves it as well and it, as I said, it's very real. But you have the mass collective, you know, you have all these other communities, all these other people, all these other spiritual masters and gurus, whatever you want to call them these days, and they're telling you different stuff. You know, they're telling you something else. And um, it's just so rare to come across somebody like myself that's going to give you the truth of, you know, what creation and destruction really is in relation to your soul's self-development. So, you know, obviously there are a lot of you that watch my channel already that understand 
the value that I share on my channel because uh, I am not sugarcoating any of the things that I'm teaching you or explaining to you and presenting to you. Um, now, obviously, a byproduct of that is this can be a hard pill to swallow. You know, it can be tough to embrace and receive um, some of these concepts that I teach you and some of these principles. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You don't have to receive it. No one's forcing you to sit here and listen to me teach. Um, so by all means, if you feel like it's uncomfortable, it's not for you, please sign off. Uh, but if it is something you're interested in and you're intrigued by the idea that there's somebody else speaking completely differently than the majority of people within this spiritual occult community or whatever the case may be, just in general, um, then stay tuned. This is definitely you know the video for you. you you're probably definitely going to be getting a lot of value from it. Okay, so let's start here. So, you know, creation, what is creation? Okay, creation is, you know, it's the fruit of your labor. Okay, that's literally, it's, it's that simple. It's the fruit of your labor. Creation is the ability to manifest something, to create something within yourself and then with uh, outside of yourself from the principle of um, as within, as without, okay? Which means as you develop yourself within, you then have more control to create outside of yourself, add to your physical reality. So the primary understanding and perspective of creation, creative energy, is going to be the part of your manifestation or the part of your self-development that has shown result because it's created. It is the fruit that has branched itself off of the tree that once was a seed planted in the soil and then was nurtured properly to then produce a fruit. And that would be the creation. It's the fruit. Okay, that's what creation is. Very valuable. I mean, obviously, like to build an empire, to build a business, to build a brand, to build uh, whatever it is, you need creative energies to build your physique, to build your your mindset. Everything, everything in life, you need creative energies. This is a very important aspect of your being to be able to produce fruit results. Okay, very important. Now, creative energies are one aspect of your being. Just one aspect. It's not everything. Okay, everybody else in this spiritual community, I'm not going to say, I don't want to just branch everybody else. Majority of people in the spiritual community, occult community, they're going to primarily focus on creative energies. They're going to zoom in and look at creation or creative energies, the ability to produce fruit, and they are going to say, this is what you need. This is what you want. Creation, light, light, creation, the ability to manifest love, joy, happiness, attraction, abundance, light, light, creation, creation. This is what majority of these gurus and as I said, people in the spiritual community, this is like all they're looking at. Okay, it's literally like, this is like the main thing they look at, which is hilarious to somebody who really understands the process of producing higher levels of creation. Okay, so listen up. So when it comes to the Sephirothic tree, this is a tree of creation. This is the tree of fruit, the tree of created energies. Now, I know when it comes to Kabbalistic um, lore and Kabbalistic stories or mythology, they say that all of creation comes from Kether, and then it streams down from uh, Malkuth to Binah to Chesed to Gavura, Tifereth, Netzach, Hod, Yesod, and then into Malkuth, into the physical plane. And they basically say, Kether is God. Um, but that's not true. This is just the creation of the multiverse. 
Okay, this is the, you could think of it as the creation of the matrix. That's a good way to look at it. The creation of the matrix that we all exist in for everyone that's watching this YouTube video. Okay? So this isn't the creation of your being. This is just the creation of a few dimensions of your being that primarily reside within the multiverse, the matrix. Okay? So this is a big misconception that a lot of people will tell you that, you know, this tree itself is showing you how everything came into being from the from God itself, right? And they don't even have the right perspective of God because truthfully, outside of Kether, that's where the source exists in those dark energy spaces, okay? But long story short, this is the tree of creation. Now, the process of initiating through this tree, if you're somebody who's evolving, is your spirit will travel up each sphere. And as you go up each sphere, you are learning new aspects within yourself and developing new energetic aspects within yourself. Specifically focused on the creative aspects of your being, the ability to create. Okay, so once again, on the Sephirothic tree of life, as you as your spirit travels upwards which is anyone who's taking their evolution seriously this will naturally happen whether you're aware of this tree or not you don't even need to know about this to be traveling through it okay um once again this is teaching you how to develop certain energetic aspects within your being to then be able to create more effectively okay so as you go from Malkuth to then finish at Kether once you achieve the state of Kether you are going to have a very solid awareness that everything is connected there's probably going to be a little bit more so of a subconscious unconscious interest in there's something more which is true and I'll explain that in a second but long story short when you get to Kether what then happens is the spirit travels downwards the middle pillar through the middle pathway and then it finds itself in Malkuth which is the kingdom and all the different spheres that you've traveled through getting to the top of the tree then channel downwards they filtrate down and then they specifically will filter through the sphere of Yasod while your spirit resides in Malkuth and then they will channel themselves down this final pathway which is the path which is path 32 and is the path of the world okay and this path of the world is associated with the planet of Saturn which crystallizes energies it causes those restrictions on the psychic astral energies to then be crystallized into your physical energy field into your physical awareness and into your physical being so the spirit will crystallize all those energies if you've gone through the process from the top to the bottom and then once that crystallization phase takes place then the spirit will travel to the center of the tree called Tifereth and as you can see this sphere here connects through all the different pathways to all the other spheres this is the ultimate you could call it sphere of balance so once you've completed that journey and your spirit exists in Tifereth you now are a human being that understands how to create in your physical reality and you have a pretty strong ability to do that you can manifest things that you desire you can manifest things that you want okay this is the the art of creation and this is the power of initiating to the top of the sephirothic tree and then eventually your spirit will reside in the center Okay, this is what happens to everybody that goes through this tree. Whether you're aware of the tree or not, all it takes is the little intention to get to your highest potential and take the steps and actions necessary to go down that path. That's why every single sphere is connected by these archetypal paths, which manifest in real life circumstances and experiences in your day to day life. Once again, you don't need to know about the tree to go through these initiations. This is the power of the Sephirothic tree of life.
okay? This is the multiverse, okay? So as you go from the top, for, or excuse me, as you go from the bottom, Malkuth, to the top of the multiverse, you are gaining mastery over the creative aspects of our multiverse on this planet. Once again, which results in your ability to create. Create. You can produce fruits. Okay? Now, this is one aspect of your energetic being. This is the aspect of your being to use your spirit to take action to produce a result, which is the fruit, which is the creation. Okay? So, there is a whole nother aspect of your being that is not creative, but rather is destructive. Okay, there's the negative aspect. Okay, you have the masculine aspect and you have the feminine aspect. Everyone's gonna be like, oh my gosh, how dare you say that? How dare you say the feminine side of your being is destructive? Well, then I want to say, how dare you think that that's a problem? How dare you think that's something bad? Because it's not. Destructive is just as important as creative. Okay, negative is just as important as positive. So, to the person that exists in the perspective, which is most of these gurus that you're listening to, where creation is everything, creation is everything, fruit is everything, light is everything, angels are everything, angels, 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 light, 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 creation, 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 right? What are they missing? They're missing a deeper awareness of their unconscious and their subconscious. They're not fully plugged in, okay? They're missing the understanding of the negative, destructive aspect of their own being. I mean, come on. You know, like, none of us own a battery that doesn't have a positive and a negative charge. If your battery doesn't have a negative charge, you throw it away. Because it's not going to work. It's not going to produce real power for your light to turn on. <laughs> so, that's important to recognize that most people are in that state of creative, 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 creative. Light, 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 light. Angels, angels. My angels did this. How are your angels? How are your angels? My angels this. My angels that. Creation. They helped me build. They helped me manifest money. They helped me create this. They helped me bring this into my life. Okay. Let's silence the mind a little bit. Let's now take a look at the ego. Because in the Sephirothic tree of life, the creative aspect of our multiverse this is not the tree, which is the tree of life. This is not the tree that teaches the human being how to rid themselves of their ego. This is actually the tree that usually strengthens the ego because you are creating fruits from the things that you are desiring, which is not a bad thing. There's nothing wrong about that. This is an aspect of spiritual evolution and spiritual self-development. But there comes a very big responsibility of the human being. Um, there was a quote that I really liked by Yoda, which was, With great power comes great responsibility. Okay, so there comes a responsibility of the human or the initiate who has mastered the creative aspects of our multiverse, the matrix here on the planet, and that responsibility is to recognize that although you may be great at creating, you may be great at manifesting, producing physical result, fruits, that doesn't mean that you have a soul connection. That does not mean that you are powerful within your own soul. This is where things get very different from the mainstream perspective okay because a lot of these mainstream gurus and these whatever they whatever you want to call them they're gonna try and paint the picture of your soul being light and creative they're gonna try to bring your awareness to your soul 
in a from a uh, let's say like a, a masculine objective lens when the soul is feminine and the soul is dark the soul is unconscious it's subconscious but it is the most powerful and rooted aspect of your being okay it's dark it's negative your soul is negative because it produces let's say anti-gravity it exists in other dimensions that exist in dark energy pull up a picture on your safaris right now and look at the universe okay most of the universe is residing itself within dark energy and then there's a higher percentage after the dark matter energy percentage which is the highest then there's another one of dark matter energy and then you have lights okay so the responsibility of the person who masters the creative side of our multiverse is to then recognize that if they're honest with themselves right if they're actually honest with themselves and honest with their followers, then they will recognize that they're not finished on their evolutionary journey because they have to embrace the darker side of their being, the destructive side of their being, to fully step into the real awareness of their soul. And the reason why you need to step into the destructive aspect of your being is because this is the realm that removes all the illusions within your reality which are the things that you could create from desire although you want these things they feel good in order to really understand your soul and then develop that real link to it you need to delete all the illusions from the fruit within your reality so that you have no choice but to then look inwards and recognize things within the self that you previously weren't able to do because you were distracted from all the creative aspects of reality or the multiverse so this is the realm of destruction and this is the clipothic realm. And primarily, from a self development perspective, what happens within this clipothic realm is you are deleting the parasitic program of the ego as you travel through this clipothic tree. So the ego, which is the sense of self, that is not based on source, which is evolution and non-chaos. The ego is the primary program within the human species that prevents them from ever stepping into their true potential or true power, real power. To be able to create something on our multiverse, Although it does require a certain level of power, that's just the sliver of everything else that is important to achieve while you're alive on this planet. So what I'm saying for those of you that don't understand that, to be able to create something, right? money, wealth, love, luck, happiness. They're great things. And it does require self-development to create those things. You have to learn how to develop those creative aspects within your being to produce those physical results. That's a fact. And that's the tree of life. And it does take time to go from the bottom to the top. And you will have ego death as you go through this experience. There will be ego death, for sure. But when you enter into the realm of the Klippoth, and you're stepping into the realm, the different universes, multiverses, dimensions of destruction, which we could also term as dark energy, 
and dark matter energy, what you're going to recognize happens is everything illusionary in your physical life, physical life, breaks down. Similar to the tower card of the tarot, it breaks down. And a natural feeling from those illusions being broken is uncomfort, which naturally challenges the sense of self, challenges the ego, because your ego wants luck. Your ego wants love. It wants attraction. It wants beauty. These are not bad things to want. They're not bad things to have. But to fully understand your soul, your soul is beyond your feelings. It's beyond your ego and what you want and what you think you need. Notice how I said what you think you need, okay? The soul is synonymous with the source. That's why they're spelled very similarly. Soul, source, okay? The source in definition is non-chaotic and it's evolutionary. So anything that is non-chaotic and that has to do with real evolution is going to be source based in nature. So the soul is the aspect of the human being that is the source. Okay, so the source is what resides within every human being and the soul of the human being is that aspect of the source. Once again, that's why they're so similar in name and in spelling. So to get your own awareness plugged into and linked into your soul, that means you have to be more like the source, which means non-chaotic and evolutionary. And that's it. Everything you have to focus on is evolution and ridding yourself of chaos. Okay? So what is chaos? Chaos is a part of our multiverse. Chaos is a part of our energy field as well. But the thing is with chaos is it likes to be it chaos is stimulating. It's distracting. Okay, it's moving a million miles per hour, yet doesn't even understand why it's doing that. And then it is a powerful energy, 100%, and there is a lot of potential within chaos, but only if you are the source using the chaos and bringing a purpose to this chaos, this energy of chaos. Now, chaos is so powerful that it can very easily possess, okay? It can influence your perspective. It can influence what you do, what you say, and what you think. So the reality is, is most people are being possessed and influenced by chaos. They have impulses they don't understand. They have thoughts, ideas. They take actions they don't understand. They don't know why they're doing that. They truly, if you were to get to the root of it, they do not know why they act, say, think, or do what it is they do. And it's simply because they don't understand their soul. And they don't, do not understand what the source is. And they definitely don't understand that they are an aspect of the source, and that's the soul within their being. Okay? This is all important information to understand. Now, when it comes to the Klippothic realm, the realm of destruction, this is the realm when approached from an evolutionary perspective where the ego gets destroyed because everything in your external reality that is illusionary, that your sense of self likes to hold on to and attach to, gets broken down. As I mentioned earlier, it gets broken down. Now, naturally, what that will do is it will put you in a place where it feels like you are in a life and death struggle with your own evolution, which means think of it like this. 
when you remove all the illusions within your environment and within your reality, which means social circles, substances, movies, TV shows, video games, you name it. When you remove these things, naturally you're going to feel a sense of hopelessness. You're going to feel a sense of loneliness. You're going to feel specifically a sense of emptiness. And the reason why you're going to feel these emotions is because the true nature of your soul is non-being because the source itself is the essence of non-being and being because it's omnipresent and omnipotent. It exists everywhere all the time. So with the soul aspect of your own being, being the non-being, which is non-chaos and only concerned with evolution, there comes a state of silence with that. Okay, When you start to, as I mentioned, remove all the illusions around you, there comes a state of silence. And naturally, having pulled away or pulled out all the plugs of the ego and all the attachments and all the illusions, that leaves you in that state of loneliness, emptiness, which then can bring out depression and anxiety and fear because you, f you feel like you don't exist anymore. But naturally, the soul is the non-being. Just like the source is the non-being because it's everything. But it can also be the being because it's everything. And you can also be the being which is the creative side of who you are. The Sephirothic tree of life aspect of who you are. You choose to be what you are going to be. You choose what you want to produce to create the fruit. But the true nature of your soul, as we describe as being non-chaotic and evolutionary, is actually the state of non-being. Because your soul in that state of silence is actually producing the proper amount of energy that is necessary for you to evolve into your highest potential. Now, although that is going to be hard to understand because we live in a society, we live in a world that says you have to do A and B to produce a C. You have to do something, you have to work for it, you have to grind, you have to hustle, you have to do this and that and this. But the nature of your soul is actually the non-being that then produces the proper being. Let me say that one more time. The nature of your soul is actually the non-being and in that state of silence it produces the proper amount of energy to create the real being for the person with the soul. But the problem is, is that most people never get to that state of silence. They never get to the non-being. And it's because there's so many distractions in their day-to-day -day life. They're so, they're so focused on what their ego is telling them that they want to create. I want to go hang out with friends. I want to go feel good. I want to go... Uh, uh, watch this movie. I want to go watch this uh, TV show. I want to go play this game. 
I want to make money right now. I want to build something right now. I want to do this. 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 And this constant state of distraction is preventing them from understanding that they're actually in their most powerful state, the non-being, which in a paradox is the everything. Okay. So once again, looking back at this clipothic tree, when you are initiating through this tree or working through this tree, everything is forcibly being ripped away from you to force you. And notice the key word is force to force you to look inwards and realize you are the non-being, which is naturally showing you the truest nature of your soul. And if you are smart and wise, you will allow that process to take place. You will allow yourself to sit in silence and you will observe what your intuition is telling you about this non-being. You will observe this information that your intuition is telling you about your soul rather than trying to resist it and fight against your own intuition, fight against your own soul and the state of non-being. Because if you're resisting it, all you're doing is fighting your own soul with your own ego, the own parasitic program within your consciousness that was programmed within you before you were created, before the human species was created, that will trick you to think that you, in your most powerful state, exist and that you need to exist because the ego wants to exist. So naturally, the more in touch you get with your soul, the more your ego dissolves, the more it screams and it tries to latch on. It tries to hold on. It tries to get your attention. It tries to create physical experiences to distract you. But your soul is truly the state of non-being. Because in that state of non-being, there is no chaos. And by nature, with that state of non-chaos, you are naturally emanating as the everything which produces large amounts of energy to then channel itself or move itself into your evolutionary direction for your soul. We can also call it the purpose. The soul is synonymous with your purpose. Okay. So it is only within the realm of destruction and with the energy of destruction that you will get the opportunity to delete, dissolve and erase your parasitic program known as the ego. But this is not what most gurus and teachers are telling you. They're telling you to stay away from the demons, stay away from the devil, stay away from the negativity, stay away from darkness. We're about light over here, right? Am I wrong? And all that shows to someone who's actually initiated, someone who understands this process of evolution, I'm not the only one, <laughs> but all that shows is that those people are being run by their egos and they're being run by that parasitic programming because the only thing that they're really concerned about is creation, 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 light, 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 angels, 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 distraction, 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 when in reality, they fear the idea of removing their ego because the unconscious and the subconscious knows your own soul recognizes 
that to get into a conscious connection of your soul, it is an excruciating and painful process because the ego getting removed from the awareness is very painful for anybody. There is nobody on this planet that will have an easy removal of their ego. And most people on the planet will never remove their ego. They will never dissolve their ego, which can actually happen, which is another thing a lot of spiritual teachers will not tell you because they don't know because they haven't done it. Okay. The human being recognizes deep down within the unconscious, whether they're aware of it or not. They may not be consciously aware of it, but they recognize within, they can feel it within, that they know the destructive side of their being is painful and it's scary and it hurts and there will be suffering and there will be torment. They all recognize that. I recognized it. I recognize it. We all do. But that destructive aspect of your being is the path of actually getting in touch with your soul and is the path of actually recognizing truly what the source is outside of God, the Yahweh, the Yaldaboeth, the Yaltaboeth outside of the matrix, outside of what your ego wants to hold on to. It's the path of destruction that when approached from an evolutionary self-development perspective, destroys your ego and destroys your sense of self-importance. Okay, and the fruit of the path of destruction is going to be the new awareness of the soul. The new awareness, which comes with a new foundation of the non being, which allows you to perceive from your purpose, which allows you to perceive from the non-being, which is the everything, okay? And as you excruci- you know, what's the word I want to use? As you destroy and rip apart your ego, you're getting closer to your soul. And there comes a point in time on your journey after having gone through amounts of pain, torture, and suffering that most humans can't endure because they don't allow themselves to. Your new sense of self starts to come from your soul, which means your ego has less control over your awareness than what your soul has. And the soul, what it ends up doing within you, within the person, what it ends up doing is it deletes the ego from the energy body, from the being. So that the new perspective of that human being is now only based on two things, evolution and non-chaos. So the human being that has removed their ego, that parasitic program, having gone through the destructive aspects of self-development, initiation, everything they perceive in their life from that point onwards is now only and always focused on evolution and creating new multiverses new realities of non-chaos, which is how evolution is going to move forward as the mass collective and the world itself pushes into the golden age, which will be many years from now. 
but it will happen. And it all comes from the destructive side of evolution, the destructive aspects of your soul, which knows you need to destroy the ego to step into your highest potential. Now, once you successfully destroy the ego, which is not easy, most people will never do this in their lifetime. One percent of the human species will do this. Obviously, as time goes on, there will be more. But that's going to be a lot of time from now. Once you've done that, once you've completed that process, then you've gained mastery over your soul, which is the destructive aspect of your being, which is the true non-being, which exists in a state of peace because it's non-being. And you also have gained mastery over the state of creation because the paradox of the source being the non-being, the paradox is that it's everything. So it can choose the being when it needs. It can choose the mask it needs when the mask is necessary. It can choose the energy it needs when the energy is necessary and then discard it once it's finished and then take a new mask and discard it. And this process continues onwards. So the human that develops themselves through this process of destruction becomes the master of creation as well once they've eliminated the program of the ego. So now this is a human being that can destroy at will and can create at will as well, which is an ultimate state of real power with the positive and the negative. Okay? So this is exactly what I'm going to say. The clipothic tree is the tree of destruction. Almost everything associated with this tree is talked about and taught by many people that you should stay away from this, that it's bad, that it's not okay, that it's unhealthy, that you're weird if you look into it. But what I'm going to tell you now is that the people that tell you that are being run by their own parasitic programming, and by their ego. And if you don't want to believe me, by all means, don't believe me. But I'm going to tell you that right now because it's true. And then when it comes to the creative aspect of the multiverse and of your being, the tree of life, this is where you produce fruit. This is where you produce results. This is where you understand that you can create, which is extremely important. But you will never be able to create from satisfaction or with satisfaction until you understand your soul. So let me say that one more time. Although you may be able to manifest things and create things at will or things that you want, things that you desire, that does not mean that you will be satisfied with the things that you have. And that is a state of non-power to not be satisfied. There is an emptiness within yourself, okay? So to be able to create with satisfaction, with purpose, with meaning, to know what you're creating and why you're creating it requires you to dive into the destructive aspect of your being, to destroy the things that you've created, to recognize that you are nothing. And by paradox, that's the everything, which is the soul within you, which is the most powerful aspect of what and who you are.
Okay? So other than that, I'm going to wrap it up there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure you hit the thumbs up. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell because I post videos uh, whenever I can. And obviously, with this type of information, you do not want to miss out. Definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button because I love to see my subscribers shoot through the roof. Okay, and also make sure you you know feel free to go ahead and copy the link of this video and share it to anybody that you know that may be interested in this type of information. Okay, also feel free to post it to your social medias. You have my permission to do that. Okay, now also go down in the YouTube description and scroll pretty much more so towards the bottom. There you can join my private Facebook group. And in my private Facebook group, what I do is I will notify you when I'm going to go live on YouTube. And also sometimes I'll post some exclu exclusive stuff there as well. Okay, so go ahead and join that. And also, the first thing that I would like to say is make sure you check out my Patreon. Okay, the Patreon is going to be located at the very first link in the YouTube description. Okay, now on my Patreon, I have an entire vault of exclusive content that ranges from live streams that I do on YouTube and then upload to Patreon and I remove from YouTube. Okay, they're only for the Patreon. Ranges from actual fundamental occult practices that I perform on camera and then I demonstrate how to do them as well so that you can get real results with what I'm teaching. Very powerful information. Um, ranges from blog posts in regards to occult knowledge that you're not even going to read in any of the most powerful occult books that you have access to. And I promise that. Okay. Ranges all the way from a magic training course that I have that is primarily designed for beginner occultists if you don't know where to start, but also can be used by intermediate and advanced practitioners as well, which literally takes you the entire spectrum of developing psychic power. We go into necromancy, angel magic, demon magic, and then casting a low magic spell at the very end. Okay, This is all accessible to the magic training course, tier three members and up. Very valuable, very powerful. Okay, Then it ranges all the way up to tier four, which is the top tier, which is called the vampire service, which is a performance that I perform on all of the new participants of that service every month on the 29th, okay? So basically, in a nutshell, what I do is I permanently change your energy body to be more universe B dominant, which means you are then able to suck in, pull in energy from the chaos around you and turn it into potential and power to then allow that to fuel your evolutionary direction moving on in your life, okay? So that is the most popular tier on my Patreon for many reasons. And with that being said, I would like to give a special shout out to the top tier members of the Patreon and then a special shout out to all the members of the Patreon in general for really taking your knowledge to the other side. Okay? So that I'm going to leave that there. If you're interested in that, definitely look into the Patreon link. It's the first link in the description. Okay? Now the second link in the description is where you can book a tarot card reading with me. And for the tarot card reading, I can literally pinpoint exactly where you are on the Kabbalistic tree. So once again, a lot of people don't know this. You, listening to this right now, are somewhere on that Kabbalistic tree. Okay? You're somewhere on it. You just most likely don't recognize that. What I can do is I can locate where you are, where your spirit is in regards to your journey, and then I can pinpoint where you're headed in your near and long-term future. So I'm going to tell you what you're experiencing and then what to expect in the near and long-term future. So if you're interested in that, which also comes with extra homework at the end, there's a lot of value, uh, check out the second link below. Okay. Now, the third thing I'd like to take your awareness to is the third link in the YouTube description. There you can become a YouTube member, which means whenever I do my live streams, your name appears in green. And I will always give you a special shout out in the live streams. And every single month, you gain access to an exclusive question as long as you're a YouTube member, which appears in the same form as a super chat.
So you will always have access to asking a question every single month when I do these live streams. Um, and I treat it the exact same way as I treat my super chats. And then most importantly, what you gain access to is you gain access to the exclusive emoji system, which I have personally designed to be used in a form, or I should say as a form of psychic warfare, where you can literally eliminate your enemies, psychically speaking. Okay. So if you want to know a little bit more about how that technology works, which is very powerful and being used by a lot of people right now, there was a YouTube video I have called YouTube members followed by psychic warfare program. So you can just scroll through my channel, find that YouTube video and educate yourself. Okay. And then join if you're interested. Um, so yeah, other than that, we're going to wrap it up there. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate all of you very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or night, wherever you are. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.